To answer that big question, should you start on the Mini before going to the full-size bike? Yeah. Should you start on a Honda Ground before transitioning to a big bike? Let's talk about it. For context, I have about two years of seat time on this Honda Grom and about six months or so on the F4i so far. This video is for people who have riding experience and wanna learn how to wheelie and get into stunt riding. If you've never ridden before, don't even think about doing wheelies. Get a full size 600 or 650 and just learn how to ride the bike, get comfortable, understand the weight and the power. It's gonna help you in the long run. To answer that big question, should you start on the Mini before going to the full size bike? 100% yes. If I had to go back and do it again, I wouldn't change a thing. One of the main benefits of the Grom is the size. It's light, it's small, it's easy to maneuver, manipulate, you know, when you're doing circles, trying to save things, trying to save the bike when you got it parked on 12. It's very easy to manhandle. Um, you can get so many more reps in on this thing because it's not as exhausting. Having to pick this up every single time, you know, it's 450 pounds plus. You gotta almost take like a lap and catch your breath. This, you can just hammer out reps. Since it's small, it's a little less intimidating too. You know, you feel like bigger over it here. You're almost in the bike here. You're kind of like on top of it. So it helps with confidence a little bit. And since it weighs a little less, like if it falls on you or, you know, you can't bail correctly, it's, it's less of a risk as opposed to this whole thing landing on you. Another one of the benefits is the power or lack thereof. I mean, this Grom has about nine horsepower, so that forces you to get really good at your technique. On the big bikes, you can kind of use the motor to help save certain tricks if you didn't land it perfectly. Because this is so small and the, the lack of power, it's also more forgiving when you make mistakes. So if you whiskey throttle or you know you go to clutch bump and you have the throttle open too much, it's easier to try and save this or the outcome isn't gonna be as bad as opposed to you know making that same mistake on this bike. I can't count like all the stupid mistakes that I made on this little bike here that would have been terrible if I did it on this bike. The more time you have to spend recovering from an injury and repairing the bike means less time riding. The one thing with the Grom I will say is that you can establish some bad habits. The main one you see a lot is the throttle chop and wheelies. My recommendation is to ride this bike as if it were you know the big bike you're planning on going to. So I would always have the idle high, I'd smooth throttle. This is all going to depend too on the style of riding if your streets lots but I'd say you know ride the mini like the bike you're going to go to. Um, you don't want to bring bad habits from this over to this because the mistakes are going to be more costly on the big bike. When do you make the switch from the Mini to your big bike? For me, it was when this bike became like second nature. I could try tricks and I wasn't anxious or I wasn't taking 15, 16 attempts to land something. Like I could just unload it out of the truck and pop it up and do whatever I wanted. I was comfortable. You know, I wasn't scared about like how the bike is going to react in this. Like. I pretty much knew every which way you know, the bike's gonna go, if I try this or that. You should be super comfortable on this. As many bad habits eliminated as you can before you transition to this, but this bike should be almost like a toy by the time you think about moving to a big bike. So now that you're ready to make the switch to the big bike, all you have to do is get used to the weight and the power delivery of the new bike. You've already learned balance point, you know how to use the foot brake, the hand brake, like that's all second nature to you. It's not any different from here to here. You know, the position of balance point might change and how the bike feels will be a little different, but that's what you spend the time getting used to, you know, those first few days you're on this new bike. You don't have to simultaneously like understand the weight and the power delivery and try and learn foot brake and balance point if you already started on a mini. You know, it's two less things to worry about and that makes it a lot easier because the first week or so was just me trying to be confident in my build, get comfortable with it, you know, understand how the, the power delivery is. And that's why I recommend in the beginning, if you've never ridden before, ride a full-size bike because you'll have a little bit of experience on how, how the power is and how the weight is. It'll help you be a lot more comfortable because going from this bike, which has almost no power, to this is two completely different worlds. Um, so it's good to have some experience there. But the main benefit of learning on this bike first is that you know, you're not trying to do two things at once. You're not trying to get comfortable with the size and the power and learn how to wheelie at the same time. Like you know how to wheelie, so foot brake is second nature to you. That makes it so much easier making the transition. And once you're comfortable, it's just a matter of trying the new stuff on this bike that you've already done on this bike. The big bike's gonna have a stronger idle pull, which will help you if you're doing idle tricks. You know, the wider tire, Makes it a little more stable, I feel, when, when trying to move around and stuff. You know, you don't have a lot of surface area on the Mini, but the size and the weight is going to make it harder to save certain things, like in circles. 
you know, if the bike's tipping, you can't really save it like you would on this bike. You just kind of have to let it drop as gently as you can or learn how to bail at the right time. And because of those two things, mistakes are going to be costlier, like I said. Um, so it's a great idea to eliminate all your bad habits here before you bring any of that to this bike because it's gonna, it's gonna be a bad day if you, you mess up on this. In my experience, everything transfers. You know, if you've got this bike locked down, it's just a matter of getting comfortable and confident with your new build, and then everything is the same. It's been ingrained in your mind already, how to use the foot brake, how to use the handbrake, how to circle, how to do this and that. That's the way I would go. So if you're new to riding, don't even think about wheelies in the first place. Just buy 600, get comfortable with it. And then if you got some experience, start on your Grom, lock this thing in, make that transition. It might feel like a longer process, but it's gonna save you so much time, money, injuries in the long run. This is the way to do it. I wouldn't do it any other way. Hottest stash in the carpet. Yeah, we trapping out apartments. I ain't done where you start shit. To be 